Welcome. The topic of this week is timers and the Colatz conjecture. Take any natural number, and if it is even, divide it by 2. But if it is odd, multiply by 3 and add 1. Always produces a series of numbers ending with 1. How does this program work? First, we declare our global number, 180. Then we plug it in to the timer handler and we declare global number. If the number equals 1, we want it to stop. How do we separate odd numbers from even numbers? We use modular math. If a number of remainder 2 is equal to 0, then we use this formula, number equals number divided by 2. If it's an odd number, we multiply by 3 and add 1. In order to stop this program, uh, when the number 1 is printed, we put our if statement at the top. Number is equal to 1, then we call the timer dot stop function. How do we get this number to print on the canvas? We must convert it, the number into a string and in, input it in the draw handler function. Here's the timer and we register our timer handler and we put in a call to the timer handler function. We don't need to start the timer because it's right here in the button uh, click which is defined here. Timer dot start. What about making our program more reusable? Well, we have an input handler here. And we call the global number so we can change it. And here is the register for the input. What if you want to create an infinite loop where it continues to print a series of numbers 1 and 4? You would remove this piece. If number equals 1, get rid of the timer stop. Now let's run our program. I want to type in my own number, 65. And now we run, start the timer. which continues to print even after 1, repeating a series of 1, 2, and 4. What happens if we put number is equivalent to 1 and the timer dot stop at the bottom of the if elif clause?
It too acts as an infinite loop without using a while loop. And why it does that? It's because number one, while number one does not equal to zero, but it would be fulfilled right here, so it wouldn't have a need uh, to e evaluate the third uh, conditional. A fun way to use timers is for color animation. And how do we do that? The answer is simple. We import random and we'll, we use random for changing our colors, but in a slightly indirect way. Here for picking a color, we declare global color because we want to change it. Number equals random range 0 to 3. If number is equal to 0, we want to return red. If number is equal to 1, we want the color to change to white and otherwise turn it to blue. And here is the global uh, color, red. Here I use the global color and the draw handler. Here we can see that the color changes at 500 milliseconds units. And we start, we put timer.start right after frame.start.